Howdy there, this is Rudy Cowboy from Ultraman Central. Today we will be talking about Gomera. Gomera is the most popular Ultraman kaiju in the Ultraman Saga, to being equivalent to Godzilla in the Ultraman Saga. You can tell by how much quality special effects that are used that show how much Tsuburaya really cared about this monster. He used a lot of effort and knew what he was doing. And within that, Gomera from then on was known as the first kaiju to beat an Ultraman in the Ultraman Saga. That really put fear to the audience first viewing Ultraman in 1966, seeing an Ultra Monster actually beat Ultraman to the ground. Another thing notable about Gomera is his role in Ultra Galaxy Mega Monster Battle, in which he is the star of the series and is mostly known for being so powerful and unstoppable, and can give the most powerful and hardest Ultraman foes to kill a terrible fate, like an unstoppable force of nature. This series also introduces the Rayonic Burst in which any opponent he encounters will straight up be toast. Yikes. There's even a Mecha Gomera, which is a reference to Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla. Because, again I state, Gomera is the Godzilla of the Ultraman Saga. Oh, and I'm not gonna lie, Mecha Gomera is pretty awesome too. There's also a Cyber Gomera that is a sidekick to Ultraman X. And a pretty good one too, I'm not gonna lie. Cool! FYI, his latest appearance, at the time of this being recorded, his butt gets kicked by vehicles and then the sphere take over and then turn him into sphere gomera which i'm not gonna lie although i think that is bunk and gomera has been nerfed a lot recently i do think that sphere gomera is pretty cool i think there is more to the gomera family but i think it can end here for now well then now you can see that gomera is pretty popular and one of the most well-recognized kaiju in the kaiju genre. And all of the reasons stated are justified. Have a good day, everybody.